Hi folks, Steve here with another video on some of the music notation work that I've been doing. Taking a break from doing some videos on Dorico 5 and thought I would do a video on SmartScore 64NE Pro. In particular, one issue that I think can use some explanation. I've not done a previous video on SmartScore because it's actually fairly simple to use. But in this particular case, I wanted to do a, a video, in part, I guess, to give me something to refer to a year from now when I forget how to do it. But specifically, it has to do with how to fix recognition errors when SmartScore takes the PDF, converts it to a TIFF file, and then begins uh, optical recognition, and how the instruments can be mislabeled with respect to being put into a score format. So let's get started and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So in the opening window for Smart Score, I'll click Browse Files, and I will go to find the one that I want to make an issue about. Oh, the Clarinet Institute, there it is. Open it up. And by the way, SmartScore will only open up from your computer PDF files, but it will allow you to scan into SmartScore directly uh, as a TIFF. So here we go. And the first window we see here is a window that shows the imported PDF being converted to a TIFF file, which is what this is in front of us. And we get to select now in the image editor whether we wish to make any changes to the TIFF file. And that could include increasing its darkness, erasing areas, drawing lines, and the like, which are reflected up here in the image editor window. I won't deal with that right now because that's not the point that we want to make with this particular video. So let's go ahead and just accept the default. Once the default is accepted, we go ahead over here to the recognition tab and it begins recognition. There's no need to change the, the TIFF file because we didn't do anything to it. And now we get the begin recognition page. I always deselect the text box because I have found in my use that if I leave the text box checked, I simply have to make lots of changes to text anyway. And I tend to add those later in notation software once I've cleaned up the, the, the optical character recognition here. But I'll leave the tuplets box checked. I'll leave these defaults. Here is a list then of all of the TIFF PDFs that are going to be converted to TIFFs. Well, they actually have been already. And we will begin recognition. So the part that I want to make now is recognition has been completed. And we have the TIFF image up here. We have the recognized optical recognition um, file here. Now that can be set, of course, side by side, but I do mine up to down. This is the point I want to make. You get a system report, a system being a set of, in this case, all the instruments contained within a, um, within a group with respect to the, um, um, the score. So you'll see there's five parts found in 13 systems, but one part found in four systems. So in the five pages, we have 13 systems. We do have five parts. We can see in the, in the TIFF here, PDF, one, two, three, four, five. But somewhere there has been an error in putting all five together. And that's what this says. There's one part somewhere that has not been associated with the other parts. So let's have a look here. Part one, two, three, four, five. 
we can go ahead at this point um, to um, to close this. I tend to not unify key signatures. I won't save it for now. But remember, it said we had one. It had one part with four systems. So there's five parts to a system. Ah, here we go. One part, four systems. This part, instrument part, i.e. the first clarinet part in the second system, has not been joined to this. Now this can be fixed, by the way, in the image editor and by drawing lines, and maybe I'll do a video at some point, but at this point, this can still be fixed. How do you do that? Well, you click here to get out of, in the note editor tab, go ahead and get to the properties tab here. Click on this, sorry, right click, put your mouse over the part that is not correctly assigned, go to part linking. You will see that in this particular case, this part has not been adequately or appropriately assigned. It's calling it part five. Well, it's not, is it? It's part one. So let's go ahead and call it part one. We're renaming this to part one, and we are going to attach it to the next system down, this system. So I'm going to change it to part one. I'm going to apply it to the next system down and have it merged. Some changes were done. We're going to apply hit OK, and look what's happened. It has now been correctly merged with, um, with all of the parts and contained within this system. And we can do a quick look and see, oh, see, there it goes again. We have another one that's disconnected. You can tell by looking at the image up here that it should be the first clarinet part. So we go here right click part linking once again they called it part five it's not it's part one we want to apply it to the next system right down here next system apply but we got an error message that's interesting what happened here Let's see if we can figure this out. So, measure one, measure two, measure three, measure four, measure five. Well, now that's interesting. And we can see that a number of things have happened here that don't work. So let's try this again. See if we can figure out how to make this work. Part linking. We do got the part one is correct. We're going to merge it with the next system. Numbers of bar lines and systems aren't equal, or there are no bar lines. Check, please check bar lines before merging. So I wonder what's happening here. Ah, look here. You see where it's yellow? In fact, this has one, two, three, four, five measures. One, two, three, four measures. So we have to put a bar line here before this is merged. Well, how do we do that? This is standard sort of smart score. You go over here. There's a number of ways to do it, but um, I'll do it the easy way. And the easy way in smart score on a Mac is to control click, hit control, click on a bar line, it grabs the bar line and simply puts it. 
So I controlled click on the bar line to pick it up and then I pasted it by clicking where the bar line needs to be. Now I should be able to part link it. Part one, merge with the next system and voila, there we go. We have, we have fixed that particular one. Five there, five there, up, oh, we got another one. One, two, three, four. Oh, look at this one. This one was disconnected. The bass clarinet was disconnected. So here we go. Click on this, part linking. It is in fact part five, isn't it? It is the bass clarinet part, part five. But we want to connect it with the previous system, the system above it. Well, go ahead, try this again. Part linking, piano five. Oh, I have nowhere where that comes from. Hmm. Previous system, apply. Okay. No, I just wasn't paying attention. I had to hit okay. All right. So now we've got all five there. Five there, five there, five there. Oh, this is unusual. Look at this. We've got two disconnected from the bottom. So let's go ahead, put our mouse on the on the on, on the, the um, on the on the line part linking. Now in this case, it's selected both part four and five, and we can see that it must belong to the measure below. So we want to up merge it with the next system. Click OK. And there we go. By the way, all of this is stuff that has to be cleaned up in the, um, in the editing. But right now we're not editing. We're simply making sure that all of the parts have been appropriately assigned to uh, the systems. And at this point, it looks like all the systems are in, in order. Um, so I think we've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish in this video, but just to show you very quickly how you might take care of some of this stuff that shows up, it's put a whole bunch of notes in here. And in SmartScore, the way you get notes to go away is if you can do them individually X is the individual you can just X is your and place your note click 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 um, and then you can just this is just basic how you clean up these things So, okay, I think I'm going to stop here because I made the point that I want. Some of this, of course, having to do with how, um, how you fix lines and notes as part of another, perhaps, video tutorial. But like I said, this is how you actually fix making sure that you can link the parts to the correct system. All right, well, thank you.